So team, welcome back to the continuation day four for the Selenium training. So what we're going to do is start from where we left yesterday and move forward from there. So midway uh, during this session, I'll take up any questions. Um, if needed, we'll have a shorter class because I want each of you to watch a lot of stuff going forward as videos. That's going to really help us uh, to pick up pace in the training. All right. So you remember team, we went through this. I haven't yet come into the plan yet because I've been showing you that Eclipse setup, how we're going to move the code from IDE onto Eclipse into a Java format. And I said, from here, we're going to start to execute uh, the code now. Now, when we started doing that execution, we knew that the server has to be running in the background. And what we did as part of that is we created the simple text document and we put those two commands in here. Those two commands is basically saying where are these jar files located? And the next command is Java hyphen jar, basically saying run a jar file at this port number. Okay. So these are the two commands that good to know, not necessarily that something as you continue to work, you will automatically remember it. But these are the only things you got to know. To make it easy, what we did is we saved it as a Windows batch file and we put it in the folder. Now, all I had to do was to double click this and automatically you will see the a few commands getting executed and the server launched. Yesterday, this didn't happen because uh, the Java was not completely installed properly on my system. So. The main change that I did team yesterday, which uh, in fact, after a quick restart, it did start to work right away, is I went to my computer and to the properties. Then I went to the advanced system settings. Here is where you'll see something called as the environment variables. This is your system variables. Out here, I went to some of these system variables, different variables, and there are values to it. This is what the system recognizes very effectively. So. There is a thing called as your path. So path is basically saying that there could be different applications, different executable files which are stored. So when I, if I want to run those executable files from any folder, I should be able to point to the folder where that file is, where that executable file is. And that is what I did. I, towards the end, I put this semicolon, then the entire path to the bin folder where my Java uh, application is present and then now I should be able to execute Java from any folder and when I double clicked on this it has executed those two commands one is it's changed the directory into C colon slash selenium slash jar and the next command that I gave here got executed so the status right now is I have a selenium server that is currently ready to accept your instructions to that port which is a communication link Okay, so it is listening through that port if there are commands coming in and it will try and execute from that port. Now what I have to do is I can go to Eclipse. Where's my Eclipse? Why is it not coming up front? So close this, minimize this and there you go. This is the Eclipse code that we did yesterday, right? And what we have done primarily is we made sure that all the red crosses were eliminated by either loading those jar files making sure that the class name here matches the file name that we gave here and whatever else was standard by default. Now, when I execute it, let's see what happens. So, as soon as this is save and launch, it is going to start to execute that. Let's see if it does anything. If you notice, Firefox browser has 